Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Mike here. Welcome back to a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, Team of the Year is done. Did you guys pack one? Leave it in comments. What was your best pack? I've packed Team of the Year Vieira, but that was about it, bro. I'll be completely honest right there. Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. We are doing midfielders, so it is indeed the perfect time to as actually say that I packed him there. Vieira, speaking about him, might I just add one of the best CDMs in the whole entire game, bro? If not the best. He's 8 million for a reason. We are getting into the best midfielder category. That includes only the CDMs and CMs. Now, these are the defensive minded, uh, structured players. Uh, it's the players that obviously ball win. Um, in game, they mainly played at CDM or CM. Now, you can use some of them as offensive CMs, but that's still good to come. I'm actually going to put more of the um, attacking-minded CM slash cams in the next category, which will only be out-and-out -out cams. Because essentially, you can play a out-and-out -out cam at CM in a 4-3-2-1, you know what I mean, in a 4-3-3 structure, etc. So today, we only have CMs and CDMs. Let's get into it, man. We've got a lot of cards. We're going to get right into it. S being the best. A being in the middle, doesn't exceed expectations, but still is good and still is meta relative. They are still decent in champs. And B, kind of falling off that ranking right there, man. Hopefully, you boys have a civilized debate in the comments. Tell me who's your favorite cards right now. Speaking of the favorite cards, let's actually pinpoint them. Right now, it's probably going to be Sawa, bro. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely hate versing Sawa. She is one of the best CMs in the game, hands down. She definitely gets S. We got the likes of Zidane, very nice. He is a cam, yes, but he, in my opinion, I feel like he's more of a CM slash CDM, the way he plays, but he can also be a cam, so I will add him in the cam category after this video. Hit the like, by the way, subscribe, check out the shirt sponsor, so check out MMOXP to acquire the S Taylor's cards. Zidane S, I don't care what people say, a lot of the time people actually complain about Zidane. In my opinion, it's just a skill issue, bro. You gotta know how to use this type of player. Very nice CM. Amazing right there. We got the likes of Bruno Fernandes. Is he on the same level as A um, as S? As Sawa? In my opinion, could even be better, bro. It just depends on how you use these cards. Fernandez for me is amazing, bro. What a card, man. And this is the type of card that I will actually look through because people don't understand how good this card is. Look at his playstyles, bro. Long ball pass. He has amazing playstyles, bro. And he is probably one of the best CMs in the whole entire game. When it comes to like just offensively great and defensively do you know what i mean he's versatile can play cdm cm and cam mainly a cm though i'd say but uh we got shabby alonso he's okay bro nothing great more of a ball winner could even potentially be b plus do you know what i mean a is for categories where they are at least you know you, you kind of tremble in champs do you know what i mean so kind of like a shabby bro could even be a plus we just have to see how relative they are in terms of where the other cards get placed. Xavi for me has amazing like qualities to be a brilliant CM, like five star weak foot. So he's going to be amazing when it comes to the passing uh, aspects. Amazing pace right there, very nice dribbling. I'm not going to lie. He's not on the level of um, like a, how can I explain, like a sour? Just the way he feels in game. He is on a very nice level though. I wouldn't pl place Xavi as S, personally speaking, man. We got the likes of... Jaka, it's getting B plus, bro. Nothing great, uh, crazy. He's got obviously the stats, yes. In game, Jaka's not great. Like I can actually show you right now. I think he has three star, three star. Granite Jaka right there, man. If you're an Arsenal fan, though, the Arsenal past and presents are eating good. Six foot one, incisive pass plus. Ninety reactions is decent. I'm not gonna lie. For now, I'm gonna place him at A, bro. He's not all that bad. We got the likes of Zanetti, A Tiller's card in the middle. Doesn't exceed expectations, but do, do the job. Bon Mati, do I need to speak more? Speaking of that, let's get rid of all the conventional cards that everybody knows is just S, man. I love doing this because it gets rid of the, the clutter. You know what I mean? These cards, I mean, if you have them in your team, fair enough. But I know like myself, I will never ever be able to get them. I was very lucky enough to get Vieira, I can't lie. So for that reasoning, we got the likes of a Rodri. What a CDM. Kind of like on the cusp of a Vieira, bro. If not, a little a little bit better because of his stats in-game. Um, he kind of feels like a Vieira. So, very nice card right there with Alaba. Doesn't exceed expectations, but a very nice CDM in-game at that. Same thing with Barella. It's okay, nothing great. Same thing with Abili. It's okay, nothing great. Alex Tellez. 
Nah, bro. I feel like this type of card is very fast in game, but you just won't see him as much. And he won't be that, like, physically dominant CM. But he's more of that, like, outlet to pass to, to run on the wings because he's fast. Yeah, nothing great, man. We got Yaya Torre. This is a very interesting one. Is Yaya a STLS card? Let's see his price. I know, especially post team of the year, by the time I am recording this, six foot two, 1.5 mil. Press proven plus doesn't have obviously the two play styles like the other cards have and some of the stats are a bit lacking but in game it doesn't matter how the stats look because i've used this card the in-game animations play a huge role bro he's s for sure one of the better cdms kind of like a cheaper viera at that we got the likes of alexander arnold very nice cm uh when it comes to the way he moves uh like a ball playing cm don't play him at right back he's better at cm same thing with banini very nice man just they don't get you that extra wins in champs like A plus and S2, but they are still good. They are still meta, relative. Balak, very he's falling very down, bro. I won't lie. Don't like Balak in this game. Never liked him. Just very heavy in game. Um, turns like a bus, and he's not even good at defensive structured things, bro. Do you know what I mean? He just doesn't have anything going for him. I'll be honest. If he plays well for you, that's subjectively for you. Fair enough, man. We got Allison. It's okay, bro. Nothing great. I feel like he's very lanky, so that helps him a bit when it comes to shrugging plays off the ball, but that's that. The Paul, is he on the level of maybe a Xhaka? I don't know, bro. That's the interesting one. I don't know. I feel like the Paul for me is just a card that you have in your team that you got in the start because he came out very, very far back. 5 foot 11. He doesn't have anything playstyles going for him. He just has the base playstyles. But um, overall, though, I do think in-game he's decent, man. I mean, look at his card. It's, it's all greens. So essentially, you can't be biased. He will do a a OK job. Same thing with uh, Benessa, Gomez. Um, they're all in that category, bro. Do you know what? Let's do this. we got to get um, placing all the, uh, the tier lists. Because so I've looked at, uh, back at my old tier lists. Well, past tier lists, like literally a day ago. And I don't make use of the B slot. They are B for a reason, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, at that reason, we go Benessa, Gumairish. And, yeah, I think that is perfect, man. From how we're having it right now. Granite Jack are very, very close to that cusp. A little bit better because he is a relative card that got added recently. So, he's going to be a little bit better than these cards at the bottom. But, yeah, we got the Young. Definitely getting A. Was definitely an S tier card, like, when he came out. Then he dissipated to A+, plus, and now he's A. It's just the more the merit, you know what I mean? Like, the new cards that got added have definitely knocked him off uh, a few tier lists, let's say that. Chan, mm, very interesting one. Emre Chan is not really a meta-meta card. He, he will do okay. Let's just say that. He's meaty, bro. It's a mid card. Burkamp, on the other hand, is a very nice card. This is actually a card we can look at because he's not a conventional card. Can I, can I say that? Like, look here, we'll show you exactly how this type of card moves in-game. Now, he's more of an attacking CM, yes, but he can actually defend. Because the way he moves is kind of like that of, um, like, an Allison. Do you know what I mean? So, in that reasoning, we will place him exactly at A. Same thing like Allison. Just lacks stamina, like, agility and balance being 6 foot. But playstyles doesn't, uh, obviously, it's not necessarily bad. Do you know what I mean? Kone. Nah, bro. Kone in the start was decent, but right now, not great. Same thing with Locatelli. I think he just has the... Physical attributes going for him. Nothing crazy, bro. Fernandez. I do like the way this uh, Fernandez moves. Um, I used these pass cards and he was amazing when it comes to like the way he moves like exactly in real life. Do you know what I mean? Fernandez is amazing in real life. Camavinga. I like his card. Uh, we got Essien. This is definitely getting S. He could even potentially be better than Yaya Torre, bro. I love the way this card moves in game. Burst him uh, actually once this weekend league. And by the way, please don't come into my comments and say, Mike... You do not use all these cards. Why are you placing them there? If you've watched past tier lists, just see what I say. But yeah, we won't get into that right now. 4 star, 4 star. 5 foot 10. Very nice pace. Very, very nice uh, defending stats. And just amazing physicality, bro. It's a phenomenal card. We got the likes of Phillips. He's actually better than um, the a a B tier list cards because I've actually used him in game. Wasn't the greatest in terms of turning, but when it comes to his CDM qualities, he's actually kind of nice, bro. 5 foot 10, ping past, intercept. It could be a little bit biased because I've used him. Um, 81 stamina. I think for now, is he on that level of like Alibi in them? Probably not. So we'll place him there. We got Guijaro. Now, this is a, a card that got in. Like, this is a card that nobody knows is out. 
She's 91 rated, 5 foot 7, 4 star, 4 star. She's got amazing, amazing uh, dribbling stats. So the way she turns is kind of that of a Bonmati. Um, you know, like, not Puteus, but like, you know, it's in that realm, bro. She's almost close. Like, maybe one more um, playstyle should get A+, plus for sure. For now, I'm going to place her at A. Uh, I wouldn't... Will I feel right putting her at A+, plus? let's just see. Long ball pass, 4 star, 4 star, 5 foot 7. You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. She gets A+, plus, bro. I don't think she's on that level of A. Then if she gets A+, plus, a Billy goes one up. Banini goes one up. Do you know what I mean? Then the whole tier list changes, bro. And this is why tier list is so difficult to construct. Because you kind of need to, like... You kind of have to be unbiased. But um, definitely stay tuned to the end. Because this could definitely change. I mean, we still got a lot of these cards right here. And yeah, let's get let's get cracking though. But I do think a BA a Billy is not on Shavi's level. Do you know what I mean? And that's for the reasoning why Guijaro goes down one. Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Hopefully you guys are getting the drift right there. But yeah, we got the likes of Goretzka. Nothing crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Goretzka this year isn't get doing it for me. Just a bit lanky, man. Like if he gets one more upgrade, and I always like to say one more upgrade. I just feel like if he gets the right upgrade, sorry, is what I should say. Because someone like Goretzka is actually decent in game when you can use him right. It's just like three star skills, intercept plus, so it's gonna feel like a taller Kante. Dribbling wise, nah. I'm not gonna lie. I do like Goretzka. He's not looking that bad actually. So in game, is he better than these cards? I think he is. We got Ruben Neves uh, right there. Nah, nothing great, bro. Very mid card. We got to Rom. I like this card because he has press proven, so he's tall, but he actually feels nice when it comes to ball um, relativeness. Like, how can I explain the ball retention aspects, the way he keeps it? He kind of feels like a Vieira, bro. But yeah, Vieira is such a beast card, by the way. Firmino, bro. Oh, my days. Looking at this Firmino, by the way, brings me back to, is it FIFA? What was it? FIFA... 21 when he had the flashback cm card it was amazing what a card man but uh, as you can see five star skills is always nice incisive pass so his passing is going to be nice stamina is very nice as well why don't people use this card i don't really see them using him um when it comes to he's more of a cam actually now that i look at it but he has a 99 uh, hitting accuracy doesn't have the best defending stats and that for for that reasoning we'll place him at a still a very nice card to transition Gyoro and Jolinton literally like very similar players in game. Um, the way they move, the way they turn. It's like a cheap beast, can I say that? It's more so like better value cards than anything else. We'll place him at A. And that for me is just the reasoning why I play so much cards at A. It's because it's in that middle realm, bro. You can't get better than that. Um, oh no, you can't get better than that, obviously. But you can't. They, they won't get like, if they have one or two more upgrades, maybe they get the A+. plus. But for now, it's get, it's giving A, bro. Bernardo Silva, very nice card, but I do think because EA have um, kind of made the Team of the Year honorable mentions the same as their last upgraded card, like why? Why, bro? Do you know what I mean? So for that reasoning, we'll place him at A. He's very, very nice when it comes to dribbling aspects, but that's all he has going for him. He is a little bit slow in game. Do you get what I'm saying? You catch my drift. Keen, just not a great CM, bro. He's definitely a mid card. Kunde, nice, but is he A+. Plus? I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't even say so, bro. He's more so a, um, he feels out of out of place. Like he's more of a center back than anything else. So him being at CDM, is just not great, bro. It feels like him, like you moved a center back at CM. Do you get what I'm saying? Eddie Stamen as well. Nah, bro. Schneider. Ladies and gentlemen, 5 star, 5 star Schneider. Doesn't have the best um, stats, but he has 5 star, 5 star. That makes him definitely going on, on that cusp of almost S. I'm not going to lie. Could I place him at S? I'd probably say he's not an s tier card compared to the other ones. But when it comes to his overall like dribbling and the way he feels, he's amazing. He's kind of like a Shavi, bro, with the 5-star skills. But yeah, Sissoko, it's okay. It's a good card at the start of the game. Or if you are starting now, Lom. I know a lot of people have Lom. A lot of people actually pack Lom, I'm not going to lie. But I'll definitely place Lom at somewhere between A plus or S. Is he an s tier card? Maybe a s tier list fullback, yes. But in terms of the A-plus category, I think he fits it perfect. Um, it's a card that you'll buy that will get you wins. But because of the lack of physicality and it's the way this game works. Now, if you're good at using these type of players like Sawa, do you get what I'm saying? Then maybe he's a S. So that's why I'm trying to see. Maybe like I'm very enticed to put him at S. 
So that reasoning, five foot seven long ball pass, relentless plus. Um, yeah, we don't even really need to say stats, bro. This card is phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie. He could even be S, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think? This is the one that I'm kind of on the fence of. There's always that one card. Mm, it's interesting one. For now, I'm gonna place him at A plus. Is he on the level of like a Fernandez or a Sawa? I'd probably not say Sawa. Very close to. It's a tough one. Where do I place him, bro? Where do I place him? I'm gonna place him at S for now, bro. Effort, man. Game's the game. Same thing with Kante. Kante is literally a similar player to Lom. And in-game, don't look at stats, please. With Kante, the way you use this card is you slap a shadow and you get him in your team. You play your games. You enjoy the game. Kante gets everything, bro. He does all the work. What a card, man. If you know, if you've played with him, you will know. Uh, we got the likes of Madison. It's okay, bro. Nothing great. I'm not gonna lie. Madison could even be uh, B, bro. He's just the mid card, man. He has the passing and dribbling going for him, but that's about it. He was actually good in the start. Remember, he's player of the month. Not a bad card. Shabaslai, A for me. More of a cam than anything, but you can play him CM. That's why I added him here. Kessler, is she on Abili's level? Yes. That's why she'll place with Abili. Trippier. Where does Trippier get placed? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say A. And it's not because I'm just, you know, don't know where they get placed. He is an ATLS card, bro. It's like he will be decent in game. He will actually exceed some expectations because Trippier at CM doesn't make sense. He's kind of like a Trent. Trent's low key better, though. I'm not going to lie. Trent is better in terms of how he, the pace and everything, but he has better defending stats. So, yeah, we got little. I actually wanted to see this card. When she came out, Kim Little, as you can see, she's got a, the three star skill moves. Technical plus is always nice to transition the ball she got 99 interceptions but defending wise you know she's more of a cam than anything but um she can play cm and when she does play cm she doesn't have the defending or physicality stats what's the reasoning do you get me we got heavy gavi however you pronounce his name let's see um who actually got it was it was it pedri that got a card recently yeah it was pedri i think we have actually added the new cards so stay tuned for that still as you can see, Gabby's nice. Any any version of him. I do like the fire one because he can transition very nicely. So him being at the RCM spot in a 4-3-2-1 is more or less going to be better than the cards at the bottom, bro. Personally speaking, man. Now, I know Firmino is very close as well. It's interesting. Very interesting. Does Firmino get placed maybe at A+. I'm going to put Firmino up. I'm going to put him up. I do think Firmino is very close. Mm. It's kind of uh, it's it's a, it's a big head scratcher because Abili is so I'm looking at her, bro. For some reason, I do want to place Abili at A plus, bro, because she's kind of good in game. And let's let's see how she's um kept the price, because that's a big main factor of or indication if a player keeps their price, bro. Because she's got amazing finishing. She's a very very close sour card. Do you know what I mean? So if you do so, add, add a shadow to her. She goes to uncontrolled explosive. And a lot of people has actually enjoyed her in-game. I feel like her playstyle is definitely uh, let her down. But now we're going to place it there, man. Mateus. Come on, bro. Don't play with me, man. Oberdorf, don't play with me. I know a lot of people don't like Oberdorf. Why don't you like Oberdorf, bro? Why? Why don't you like Oberdorf? 5 foot 9, Bruiser Intercept Plus. She is one of the best ball playing like gals that I've versed. She kind of reminds me of a Puteas. Um, you know, Bonmati down that realm. She's definitely getting S. If you don't know how to use this type of card, get going, get knowing. Let's go. Marquisio A for sure. Moves nicely in game, but not the greatest. Modric, not gonna lie, especially that version. Now I know I know a lot of people didn't really like his version, but I do think that this one is obviously going to be better than the other one because of the extra playstyle. Let's be honest. But if you're spending an extra 700k for literally a playstyle then i don't think you should be playing fifa bro because that is just bad poor poor management of coins fodder do you know what i mean but overall though he's still gonna be a great card Modric is Modric, bro reynard very nice cm very nice cdm better cdm though if you play in a 4 2 3 1 you will know amazing amazing card man she's very very physical but she lacks the pace that's the only issue ramirez don't really verse this Ramirez, man. Leave it in comments. Do you guys verse this Ramirez? I don't know, bro. For me personally, I don't think Ramirez is on that um, level of obviously like 
it's a tough one, bro. Like, Ramirez Intercept Plus as well. He's like a Kante, bro. And especially this version, I don't really verse him that much. I haven't used him that much. Also, on the fence of, man, I can't lie. I'm going to place him at um, S, though. So, Lam and Ramirez, I'm on the fence of. Tell me in the comments if you agree, though. Pedri has a better version right there. So, I don't know why I've placed this one. Let's just see. Um, Yeah. This one right here is a better version than the other one. So, Pedri will go one down. At A, this one's quite nice though, I'm not gonna lie, he does move nice in-game. That one, however, is amazing, bro. Look at his price right here. And the potential on how this card will get upgraded. Look here. Forced of Forced, Tiki Taka, and Incisive. Bro, uh, I think gone are the days of one playstyle plus. We're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna see three or four more playstyle pluses in the future, bro. Trust me on that. But yeah, he's not S, obviously. Maybe five star skills would make him S. Still a very nice card to transition, man. Beast. It does actually put... It highlights the fact that maybe Gavi go down. And Firmino. Hmm, that's an interesting factor, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Let's do this. Reynard one down. Pedri one down. Gavi goes down. Firmino goes down. That is perfect, bro. That just looks right. And the game is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be mad at the game, bro. Don't be mad at the player. Be mad at the game. Stones. B plus for sure. Very nice physicality stats and physical, um, I mean, defending. Overall, though, lacks a bit of pace, turning aspects as well. For me, doesn't get the greatest. Renato Sanchez, where does he place? He has not actually gotten a special card that much, eh? But check here. Um, four star, four star, pinged pass plus, which for the passing aspects will be nice. 82 stamina is not the greatest, but defending wise, he's nice. In game, I'm not gonna lie. Renato Sanchez is Renato Sanchez. Don't really verse him that much, but I do think he is on that middle cusp. He's like very close to A+, plus, like Firmino and Gavi. But for now, I'm going to place him there, man. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Sergio Ramos. Mm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, man. Ramos, for me, he came out recently, right? Four-star, weak foot. Anticipate plus. A little bit better. It's like a better Reynard. I feel like a lot of people are being biased because Ramos just came out, you know, um, of retirement, I would like to say. But 73 stamina? Nah, bro. Come on. Ramos is not that guy. Not yet. If you got maybe one more um, playstyle, but yeah. Rush? B for sure. Rudiger? Mm, mm, mm. I hate versing this card. I versed him about two or three times in Weekend League and let's just say I lost that games, bro. Not even just saying so. 3 star, 3 star, yes, but look at his um, overall stats. It's just like a fierce full CDM in game, and for that reasoning, I'm placing him A plus straight up. Um, yeah, I think that's perfect. Thiago, nothing great. Close. Close is not bad, actually. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of feels like a very OP. Um, how can I explain? A very, very OP, lanky CDM. Yeah, I just place him at A. We got Root Hullet. Come on, bro. Don't play with me, man. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look at the very notable or noticeable, sorry, um, S tier list cards. We even got evolutions, by the way. Stay tuned for that. We got the likes of Makalele. I do like a good Makalele right there, man. He actually kind of feels like a, a better. Let me see. A better um, radioactive Kante. That's what I can say. Or oh, Kante is very similar to him. 400k block plus. Easy on the level of, obviously, the STLS cards. Probably not, but Makalele is good in-game. Nah, you know what? Makalele is very close to, um, like, a billion them. So, for now, we're going to place them there. Then that means closer goes one down. Um, we got the likes of... Joe Linton and Gioro goes one down. Because they're dissipating in terms of meta. Um, let me see. Gioro maybe goes up one. Because she's very nice. The way she turns in-game. I think that is perfect, bro. I'm not going to lie. For now, that works. We are doing a decent enough job. We've got Tomori. Is Tomori on the same level as Rudiger? Could even be better, bro. I mean, judging by the price. And I don't bud a judge things by price, bro. Like, it's not the way to go. Especially in this game. So, you, you got to just feel how good they are in-game. Like, by playing Rivals. By playing... Um, sorry, not Rivals. Foot Draft. Dribbling wise, it's okay. 94 reactions though. It's a nice CDM. So I will place him at A plus for now. Is he better than like a let's see? 
I'm trying to see, bro. Yeah, I think that works. Ericsson, it's not, it's just not great. It could even be B, bro. Love this cheek is decent. I, I would rate him at A. Andrea Pirlo, very nice ball playing CM, but he literally has nothing else going for him apart from the skills and passing, bro. Petit, it's okay. Besuma, this is the cards that I wanted to see. Because essentially, a lot of people are drawn more to the evolutions because it's it's attainable, bro. It's obtainable. So if you get normal Basuma, you can get him to uh, through Team of the Year Unsung Hero. You can get him to 4 star, 4 star, 6 foot, long ball pass, plus alongside all the amazing defending stats. Now, if I'm going to be placing the main man, Rudigan Tomori, I'm going to be placing Basuma up top, bro. What a card. I'm not gonna lie, these type of cards is what makes the game fun, bro. Do you know what I mean? For that reasoning, I do think that is perfect. Um, the thing is, so I don't want to be too uh, lenient on them. Do you know what I mean? Because I haven't used them. So those type of cards, you just need to be very um, wary about them. So for that reasoning, I know it's it's not right. And I know I might seem indecisive right now. But I think A is perfect with these type of cards. Because they're not conventional cards that you're going to use in-game. Um, like Tomori and Rudiger is mainly center backs and placing them in midfield won't feel all that great as a midfielder Basuma however on the other hand is close to A plus as well same thing with Kaiseido same thing with Shuimeni it's cards that you're gonna get in evolutions they'll do their job but are they going to be on the level of amazing do you know what I mean like the A plus no I don't think so bro Belagarde same thing Mainu now apparently you can get Mainu to um I think it was what is it called you can get him to three playstyle pluses if you don't like claim certain things i don't know how it works it's chained evolutions it's weird bro however mine was very nice when it uh, comes to turning and stuff overall though i don't think he's going to be on the level of like a modric or pedri but will still be decent same thing with cloud maurice this measure is, oh, is okay nothing great it i just feel like just because his stats look amazing in game in-game animations play a huge role bro so if you can get his card to at least the level that I'm showing you right here, you will be close to A. So we'll place him there. Um, we also have to look at relativity, man. Like their skill moves, weak foot play styles. You get, you guys get, you catch the drift, bro. I've been doing TLS for so long, but yeah, I think Onyek is nice. He has very, very nice play styles going for him. Decent play split as well. Very nice defending, bro. Two play style pluses. For now, I'm gonna place him at the A level. Done. She was decent when she came out as Evolutions in the start. Lorente. A lot of people might disagree, but I'm placing him at A, bro. When it comes to a CM, yes, he was decent at the start. He's better at right back. Don't get me wrong. So we'll place him there. We got Rabio. Very fast, very nimble for a tall player. I'm not going to lie. He's more of like a compact... Um, how can I explain? Like a De Bruyne, bro. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. He's very, very tall, but he's very compact. Um, like especially his RB dribbling and stuff. So three star three star is not the greatest. Slide tackle plus. Yeah, I'm gonna place him at a, a B plus. It's definitely not on the level of these cards here, so that's why. Trezeguet is nice. Very nice things going for him, man. In terms of a value card, he's very very nice. He's just not on A plus level. Veron, very nice card when it comes to his um, Trivela shots. He's passing. Shout out Magjell. He loves Veron, bro. He loves him a bit too much. Vitzel, very nice ball winner. We got a new card right here now. This is where people might go ham. Because they'll be like, Mike, you haven't used him, bro. This card is like one of the best in the game, man. 79,000 coins, ping pass plus. He just looks like a average Pedri, Guijaro, those type of cards. 89 acceleration is nice though. But um, if you add a shadow, let's see. Controlled. And shadow does definitely be, it is the best one. And as you can see right there, it makes him a 91 rated CM. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of a nice cracked card, bro. Someone that's actually, as well as 4 star, 4 star, that's kind of nice. But we'll get the A level because he's in the middle, man. Marino, I think he's worse than a Kyrian. Let's see, what's Marino's stats? By the way, I don't want to make this video too long, man. Midfielders is nice, though. You know, you just got to find the best one. And I do think A plus and S is the literally the best of the best. Forsta, Forsta, 6 foot 2, Aerial Plus, not the best play styles. Yeah, he's definitely streaming B plus. Zambo, I swear you always... This guy always seems to get a card that is a UCL, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong in FIFA, or it was it just the yeah, last year. Jockey Plus, amazing um, defending and physical stats. 
it's just in the middle man i do think he's a little bit better than the cards at the bottom not because he just came out but i do actually think so let's see yeah that's decent we got horan don't really like the start of a name uh <laughs> but as you can see four star four star finesse shot plus not gonna lie those cards dead ball is nice as well because it's actually low-key a very very um op play style but i'm not gonna lie 86 finishing is nice very nice pace um 93 heading a defending accuracy but defending is just woeful bro she's more of a cam than for now i think because of the lack of other like play style i mean not play styles um defending stats like maybe if she had the 70 to, to, to 70 to 80 can't speak she'd be decent bro kimmage probably a worse lom can i say that would you guys get angry i think he's a worse lom for that reasoning lom gets s for me though Kimmich is very very close to s bro if he gets one or two more upgrades and gets to like a five star skills it's wraps it's a s straight up cruz as well easy s am i placing cruz at s because of his price because if you look at his price ladies and gentlemen it's extinct bro last time i checked he was 2.9 mil five star weak foot anticipate plus overall though as a cm i'm not placing him at s bro he's an a plus tillers card we got the likes of Mpanzu. um i do actually like the the evolutions cards trust me the cards that i've placed are very good and get them in your team adopo look at this card this is the chain evolutions i was speaking about bro i actually think i might get um a chance to review this card bro let's see you can get him to an 89 through golden glow and obviously team of the year visionary tell me if he's good in the comments anticipate plus and that's it that's actually the weirdest one i've seen or oh, does he have wait what does he only have one and one play style am i tripping bro let's just see i may be tripping this was probably the one that i was supposed to look at but um yeah because he had more he has more pace as you can see so you just got to look at Fudbun as well if you're looking at certain evolutions and like chained evolutions. Dribbling wise and stuff, it's amazing. Overall though, I do think, not because he's high rated or anything, but I, I'd place him at A, man. Same thing with the silver, that is the very last one. Tell me if you agree in the comments. These type of cards are, no, I've not used them, but they are cards that are going to be decent in game. They're just not going to be on that level of A plus and S. And I know for a fact, come on, bro, I've played this game for so long. Playstyle plus is incisive. So very nice passing. Just lacks a bit of defending as well. You guys already know, man. A. And that is the tier list. A lot of plays in A. Not gonna lie. Tell me if you agree with this tier list, though. That is actually a lot of cards, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So we will actually go through it. S is all these cards, yeah? We got A+. plus. Then we've got A. Now, this is a lot of cards. As you can see, Jaka Zanetti definitely going to be placed at a we got the b plus as well and then we got the b tell me if you agree with this tier list we're going to do the cams next which is not a lot of cards but very potent cards that can play cm as well hit that like subscribe or catch you boys in the very next video man and yeah tell me who's your favorite midfielder hey.